Hi, this is Peter from Heritage Audio. I'm here today at Alto Music, and I'd like to talk to you about uh, the process of designing the Herschel 670. A big part of the design process had to do with choosing the right components to replace the unobtainable originals. It, took, it was a process that took around two years slightly over two years actually, where the big part of it was understanding the every single part of the puzzle uh, of the original schematic and why the components were chosen back in the day. Because there's, there's a lot of dibble in the details of this special product. So it took a while to figure out and find the right manufacturers and the right prototype for all components. So let's start with the input transformer. The original Fertile 670 used actually an output transformer as an input transformer reversed. And this was done for a very special reason. They chose special UTC part, which was the A24 transformer. It was an output transformer used at the input. And this is a very special part that needs to be replicated in the same exact way. So the best one we found was AMI transformers. We're making quite good replica of that transformer. And we work with them. I personally work with Dennis from AMI and we tweaked the design and came with the UT24 transformer that we're using on the Hertel uh, 670. That was one key component that is now made in this way exclusively for us from AMI. The second part, which is also important, is the output transformer. The part chosen in the original was a Triad HS56 output transformer. It's an old steel output transformer uh, worn in a very specific way. The best one we could find was made by Zinemag. I personally, again, spoke with David Guerin from Zinemag. Again, we tweaked a little bit the design and we came with this HA56 made for us. The original Fertile 670 relied on a very special Varimo tube which is the 6386 double triode Varimo tube, which is now on a, completely unattainable. You can't buy those tubes anymore. They, the whole new old stock was depleted a long time ago. So we decided, given that that was the uh, Achilles heel of the original, because the tubes were pushed to their limits. The original units are wearing the tubes really fast because of this. So we decided to use the 6BA6 tube, which is an, equ an equivalent of the single trier of the 6386 tube. This is way better for two reasons. Reason number one, it behaves exactly like half a 6386 from back from 19, 1950s. And secondly, the tube is relieved by a lot on the power dissipation because it's just a one triode in one bottle. So these tubes would last l way longer than the originals. So this is it, the input transformer, the special input transformer made for us by AMI, the output transformer made uh, for us by Zinemag, and the whole bunch of uh, new old stock tubes that we got especially from two places. We got a lot of new old stock 6BA6 tubes from a surplus from the US government in Nebraska that were in storage since the 1960, late 60s, I would say. We bought, I would say, like 12,000 of those tubes from there. And we found another surplus in Europe from the NATO in France, and we bought another few thousand or so of those tubes. So. If you get a Herzl 670, you will have a lifetime supply of tubes and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Last but not least, we believe that the aesthetics of the Herzl 660 should match as close as possible those of the Fertile 670. So we went as far as molding our own knobs for the unit. These knobs are replicas of the original general radio knobs and are 
not plastic, are bake light made as in the originals in the 50s. It's a very expensive way of making knobs, of course, but I think it's worth, it's worth the effort. So this is all on the technical side for the Herschel 670 today with my friends of Alto Music. If you need any more information or if you're interested in getting the product, just go to altomusic.com webpage and you'll get more there. Thank you very much.